In this video, we're off to do another vending inventory shopping video, but this one's going to be a little bit different. It's not like our normal videos. We're really only looking for one thing and lots of it. It's Red Bull Blue because our truck accessory shop sells Red Bull Blue like crazy. And as of right now, it's no longer on the samsclub.com website. So I don't know if it's gone for good or if it's coming back, but all that means is we got to stock up. We got to stock up now. So there's a good sale at Food Lion. So we're going to go check out Food Lion. And if it's, if, it's, if it's true, maybe we'll go to multiple food lines. So let's get on the road, guys. Enjoy the show. All right, guys, here we are at Food Lion number one. It's time to get shopping. We're on the hunt for multiple boxes of Red Bull Blue. Now, what we're looking for is the 8.4 ounce cans. And basically, when you go to grocery stores like this, you're going to find they come in four packs little kind of cube boxes there there's four cans inside and we're going to basically find them um, in our food lines in usually the soda or soft drink aisle so each food line can be a little bit different though and you're going to see sometimes we have a little bit of trouble finding the energy drinks but let's start at food line number one here we are getting to the drink and soda aisles so let's go down that aisle and uh, I think I have a little bit of trouble finding the energy drinks in this in this first store. And let me just say, I typically don't buy energy drinks at the grocery stores, but Food Lion is having a sale, which makes this a pretty valuable deal for us. And we can't seem to find them on the samsclub.com website, at least right now. So therefore I'm worried that we might have to find another solution. So here's what we're going to do. We've got buy two, get one free on the, um, on the Red Bull 8.4 ounce cans here, no matter what flavor you get. So first things first, I found three of the uh, Red Bull Blue, and it looks like they've got a couple more back there. Now sometimes too, they also have a separate Red Bull display somewhere else in the store, and sometimes they have different uh, flavors on there. So notice there's only two left. So they have five total four packs of the Red Bull Blue. So I'm going to go hunt for that for that other display and I may or may not show it in the video but basically usually somewhere around the end caps up near the registers there's like a small display of the Red Bull four packs and I'll definitely show it somewhere here in the video I'm just not sure what you know which store we find it in uh, but I couldn't seem to find it in this location so I did find though that they had Gatorade on sale so I'm going to grab some Gatorade while I'm here six dollars and 89 cents for the eight pack I sell them for two bucks a piece so uh, not too bad there. So we're going to go back to the uh, energy drinks. We're going to grab those other two Red Bull Blues. And we'll just grab one regular Red Bull to kind of balance this out. Because it's buy two, get one free. So if I'm going to buy two, I might as well get that third one free. Because I can use those ones at the barbershop location. All right, so we scored five packs of Red Bull Blue there. Let's move on to the next food line. So here's food line number two. Um, we've actually gotten so many food lines here in town. And I only went to a couple of them. There was more we could have gone to, but I only went to a few. While I was walking in, I did notice they have a bulk vending rack there. Let's take a look at it real quick. Got those fortune telling fish in there. I can't believe you know, people would actually buy those, but neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and grab a cart. This is uh, food line number two. We're going to see what we can find. And one thing I noticed about all my food lines is some of them are laid out very differently than the others. And, you, and one thing that I've maybe been thinking about is the food lines in our area. There's legacy food lines, and then there's some that were Winn-Dixie brand uh, Bylos that uh, got bought out and turned into food lines. So that's why we have so many food lines here but i think like i said there's a difference between the two because some are laid out differently so i'm always on the hunt to find where everything is because they're laid out differently so here i am back in the drink aisle food line number two looking at all the different sodas uh, i wasn't really here to buy soda today i'm looking for the energy drinks and uh, i was looking for them in there but looks like they're over here so there we go so i got some red bull blue back there let's go ahead and grab a few of those so there's two and what else do we got? Do we got a third one back there at least? Looks like there's a third one way back there. And all they have in stock is three. So that's all we're going to buy at this food line. So we only need Red Bull Blue. So we'll just buy that here. Now the first uh, food line and this line uh, food line do not have self-checkout. So I'm going to have to go to a cashier. I think the next food line we go to should have a check uh, self-checkout. All right. Here's food line number three. This one is a former Bilo from the Winn-Dixie brand. Um, you can tell by that signage there. A lot of them have updated their signage. But with that, that arch is kind of what gives it away. Anyway, let's make our way inside. Looks like they've also got a uh, vending rack here. Let's grab a cart. We'll take a look at the vending rack on our way in. 
And this one does have a self-checkout, so I'm certainly going to utilize the self-checkout because you know I love to utilize the self-checkout whenever possible because I can get rid of a bunch of ones. Anyway, looks like they got Pokemon cards and uh, some different uh, stickers in there. They must be doing well because they do well for us. All right, let's make our way over to the drink aisle. While I was doing that, I did find some Mountain Dew Pitch Black Zero 20-ounce can or 20-ounce bottles um, in the coolers up front, so I did grab a couple of those. But here we go. Right away, I found the, the uh, Red Bull. So let's grab some Red Bull Blue again, and it looks like there's at least three. There we go. We got three. I think I see a few more back there, too. I uh, can't tell. Yeah, there's a couple more back there, but it looks like there's only two. So we may or may not buy um, those two and a regular Red Bull. But first, let's go see if we can find that end cap I'm talking about. Um, and you'll see what I mean. So I wanted to check that first because if there's Red Bull Blue on there, then of course I could grab the Red Bull Blue off of that end cap and then come back and grab some of these if I needed to, whatever I need to do. Let's go find that end cap. All right, here it is. Perfect. All right. So you can see there's regular Red Bull. There's the strawberry apricot and the sugar free. No Red Bull Blue. So that means we got to go back to the original um, energy drink spot, grab those two Red Bull Blues plus a regular Red Bull as well. So let's go ahead and do that here. There we go. Grabbing the two Red Bull Blues. I'll grab a regular Red Bull and uh, we'll look and see if there's anything else we might need here. Because um, I know I am going to need some Snapple, so we'll see if there's any Snapple sales going on here. Um, I may need some more Gatorade, but I'm probably not going to buy any more Gatorade in this video. And it looks like we're not buying anything else here. All right, so let's go on to the self-checkouts. Again, I love the self-checkouts because, number one, I can get rid of a bunch of ones, right? And uh, I really don't care if, uh, if they don't want the ones, but they're money, so I'm going to use them. And then I don't have to go deposit those in the bank. I can just deposit them here and therefore check out and make my payment, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get everything scanned. I'm going to scan those um, those Mountain Dew uh, Pitch Black Zeros. And I will say, when I'm leaving the store, it looks like I forget them. But guys, I did not forget them. You couldn't see me grab the bag off camera. So, you know, I, I just trying to avoid some comments. People saying, you forgot to you forgot to grab your sodas. No, I got, I got everything. Don't worry about that. But when we do leave the store, it looks like I forgot it. But I did get them. Just FYI. You'll see at the end of the video what I mean, too. All right, so we got everything scanned in. It's time to start making our payments. And like I said, I'm going to get rid of some ones. Looks like our total amount is $37.67. Obviously, I'm not going to record me entire putting 38 ones into this machine. So we'll go ahead and skip forward to when we're wrapping it up here. There we go. All right, once we get that taken care of, it's going to give us our receipts. It's going to give us our, our little bit of change back. And then we can make our way out to the vending SUV and then on to the next food line. Because we still don't have enough Red Bull Blue for that location. I think what we have here might last us two weeks, might last us a month at the most. So we need to get as much in stock as possible. All right, let's make our way back out to the vending SUV and then we'll make our way on to the next food line. All right, here we go. Food line number four. This is a legacy food line. You can tell how the signage is way different than all the other ones, right? This is a legacy food line. It was never a buy low or of the Winn-Dixie brand. We're making our way inside. Let's grab a cart and it looks like there is another vending rack here. So that means three out of the four food lines we've been to today have all had vending bulk racks in them. So, I don't know, kind of different. Uh, let's take a look at this one here on, on our way in. I can see there is some stickers in the middle. No Pokemon cards on this one. Looks like uh, some different bracelets and things like that. All right, let's make our way over again to the drink aisle. Let's look for the energy drinks. And these might be laid out again a little bit differently. I was looking up front there. I didn't see them up front. Here's all the different sodas. See, we got Coke products here. And we're going to get to the Pepsi products. And then it's kind of like that fringe area, which is a little bit of a mixture of everything. So getting past all the Mountain Dew stuff here. There we go. Um, different bottles, different teas, purple leaf, different things like that. Again, I'm looking for the energy drinks and it looks like I may have found them. Here we go. All right. So I see some Red Bull Blue down there. Let's go ahead and start grabbing that. There's one. We got, and there's at least another one back there. So here's two. What else we got? Is there a third one? Yeah, I see a third one back there. Good. So there's three. And it looks like that's all they have here in this section. So again, we can go find that other end cap to see if there's any Red Bull Blue on there. But honestly, I haven't been, been very lucky finding Red Bull Blue on those end caps. I'm going to grab a snap while I'm here because it's $5.99 for a six pack. So they're basically a dollar a piece. All right, guys. Sorry for the terrible lighting. We are back from shopping. As you can see, we scored plenty of Red Bull Blue. So I just want to talk some numbers real quick here. So first and foremost... One of the reasons why we went out and went out to all the food lines tonight is because Sam's Club, which usually sells these at $1.54 per can, no longer has them on their website today when I checked because I'm running low. I wanted to place an order. 
Basically, this amount of Red Bull Blue right here will last exactly one month at that location. There's 64 cans here, and they go through about, well, actually, this might only last two weeks. Anyway, so, so on and so forth, with this food line sale, food line sale, uh, the total cost per can was $1.26. So just for the actual 64 cans of the Red Bull Blue, it was a total amount of $80.64. Now we're actually going to sell these at $2.50 a piece, so basically doubling our money. And the total amount that this will sell for is $160. So you can see why we went and picked all this up tonight. Now you know I had to get some regular Red Bull also because some of the places only had two and then one to make three because they were buy two get one free basically. So if I wanted to buy these two, I had to buy one of these because they only had two of these. So I may do, those will go end up being sold at the barbershop and we'll still make um, you know, we'll double our money on those too. Some of the other things I picked up tonight, I picked up some Snapple for the barbershop, some Gatorade for both the barbershop and the laundromat. And then those are just some uh, Pitch Black Zeros, which are really hard to find, and a Mountain Dew Uproar, which is only available at Food Lion. And I only saw one, so I picked that up too. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of crazy night to where we went and went to all the different Food Lions to get this best deal on those Red Bull Blues. I know it's a little bit crazy to go all around, but with Sam's Club not having it on the, on the website anymore, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to do this more often because that truck accessory shop location just kills it with these things. And uh, if I don't get them, they're gonna be upset because they love them. So I gotta go and buy them when they're on sale and I gotta buy them like this. So that might last two weeks, maybe a month at the most. Um, but uh, if you guys have any more sources for Red Bull Blue, put it down in the comments. Otherwise, again, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Make sure you give this video a like. It really does help us out. Make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843, and we're going to wrap up the video right here. So once again, guys, this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.